Spend an afternoon with Auburn track and field, and it'll be hard to miss the family-like bond that is present between both teammates and coaches. I always, when I recruit a kid, whether they're from California or Alabama or international, I tell the parents that if you're sending me your son and daughter um, to, to be here for the next four to five years, I, I'm kind of going to be their surrogate father. In the pit specifically, Pat Ebel is a coach to all, a surrogate father to 17, and a biological dad of one. Eric Ebel is in his fourth year with the Tigers and his 22nd year of being coached by his dad. I remember when I first started coaching back in Wisconsin, he was, he was in a, a car carrier. I would take him to practice. So he's literally been around it since birth, but obviously around it a lot more since probably about age eight. I would go to his practices with all the college kids when I was little, and whether I was messing around doing something or I was actually throwing, I just wanted to be a part of that. So by the time Eric had to make a decision of where to throw for college, well, there really wasn't much of a decision to make at all. Ever since a kid, I knew that I wanted to throw when I started, and I just always knew that I was going to throw wherever he was. Um, whether that was at D3, D2, D1, it was just wherever we were at the time, I was planning to stay with him and throw. When he started putting on the, the Auburn gear, it wasn't like while he's in college, it just felt like it, he just kind of slid into that, 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 that college life. Their time on the planes together has been productive. Eric has claimed multiple first place finishes this season alone, and the Tigers throwing squad boasts some of the nation's top athletes. However, balancing the father-son coach-athlete relationship hasn't come without its challenges. He's the only kid I've ever, co uh, ever coached in the 30 years that I've ever kicked out of a practice, and that was two years ago here. We had that much of a disagreement that I had to send him home. He didn't want to do something that I thought was very valuable to the, the, the team. I was expressing my concerns. And he was expressing his concerns. I said, you all, you need to leave. So he had to go home and sit. And we talked about it that night. And um, we both realized that we, we probably could handle it different. But yeah, I mean, we do butt heads every once in a while. And I think that's to be expected. But Eric admits that in butting heads with each other, he learns more about the sport kind of subconsciously I do it because I, I want to do this someday or something like this and I'm trying to learn as much as possible and get to the bottom of like why are we doing this is there a better way we can do it the development isn't one-sided either as Pat has also learned from coaching Eric it's made me a better coach um, it's made me, me understand that they're not just here to throw they're here to get a great education they're here socially, they're making the friends. Um, I, I think that that part of it has, has made me more, more of a complete coach. And all together, Eric and Pat's relationship deepens the family atmosphere that is present within Auburn track and field.